Well, we've got a good group of friends and every Sunday morning we cycle from the Whale to Kings Norton and uh, we come back and that's about eight to seven to eight miles. And I think it's really good because, uh, because of the social interaction. Uh, we come together and we cycle and we get obviously not only the physical benefits of cycling, but the mental uh, health benefits as well. And then um, we try to cycle sometimes during the week if we've got the time. We, the group of friends, are, they're all doctors, they're all local people working in local hospitals and, and general practice. So I think it's really good because it's not only about uh, talking the talk, it's about walking the walk. Cycling is one of the, one of the most complete exercises one can think of because uh, not only you get to go out in the fresh air, uh, but also you, know, you get to socialize with a group of friends because you, often you would do cycling as, as a group, but focusing on the cardiovascular and the physical element of it, you get a good workout of your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your muscles of the leg, your muscles of the back, as well as the muscles of the upper part of your body. Um, all in all, when you've done about a 20 mile uh, round journey, you've had a good exercise for your heart, as well as for your brain. Okay, who are you? My name is Ria Sibyl, um, and I come here every Sunday to cycle with my family, and I really enjoy it. I think it's a really good way to cool down and relax. And I also think that it's really good for your body and for your mental health as well. I like it and it's like a really good fitness for, fit for fitness because we do badminton and swimming as main sports. So it's good for fitness and it's really fun as well. It's really opening because you can see all the nature and it's really fresh. So if you're really tired, you can go on a cycle. It's not that tiring for people who haven't got as much stamina as you think you need for it. It's really simple and you can do it very often because it doesn't take long. I think it is a great form of doing exercise. You come out, you do go on your bike, you exercise, you connect with nature, you enjoy the season. You know, it's such a nice breeze blowing out there now. You enjoy it. It's great for your mental health as well. You, you sometimes tackle your own thoughts, your own ideas, where you want to go in life. So it is it's a great, great way of doing exercise and it's, it's, it's a good, tremendous benefit for your physical as well as mental health. I think I would recommend it to generally everybody, the cycling, provided um, they haven't got any limitations because of their physical health and they cannot physically get onto the bike. It's a great way of exercise. You don't have to in make huge initial investment. It is cost free, you get onto your bike, you just exercise and I think I would recommend it to almost everybody. I think it has a lot of um, benefits, not just uh, physical benefits, I think it has got a huge amount of psychological benefit uh, for individual. I find there's a lot of healing, you connect with nature, you exercise your body and I think you spend very little money and I think for all the people who are spending hundreds of pounds in paying the gym, I think you should join this. It is like a free gym, it's open air, there's plenty of oxygen, greenery, and you can see the changing seasons of English weather, and I enjoy it. I, I don't ever complain about English weather. I think once you're out and about, you get into it, and you take it in your stride, and it's still lovely to cycle in rain, and I think we should all go out a bit more. I think it's an excuse to, you know, go out, enjoy with friends and socialize and exercise and it's got multiple benefits. So I would highly recommend it to all the, you know, all the people who are struggling to maintain their fitness and who feel a little bit low and depressed with the English weather, I think. So. Um, well, one of the reasons I started cycling was to lose some weight and uh, try and improve my blood pressure and I think it's it's been a fantastic experience over the last few years in achieving that. I would recommend cycling for a lot of my patients because one of the problems they have is they can't actually walk very far because of calf pain. So by cycling they may be able to improve their walking distance and also get their general fitness uh, better. I think children will enjoy cycling even more than adults because uh, just by the nature of they explore things more and they can they are very good at balancing cycling and they can, I think they, they will, but children, the increasing problem of uh, children being overweight, and I think you can, can, you can help a lot by encouraging children to cycle long routes uh, with parents, and uh, they will, that just, it's not just about losing weight, but I think it's a, 
putting into child a culture of uh, being aware of their health and how what they can do to improve their health. And I think that's a long-term investment in health rather than just trying to lose weight in the short term.